couple ways our society views health and healing is a little bit bizarre. Um, for example, if you're if your car light goes on, it says, hey, there's something wrong with your car. And the first thing you do is go see a professional. You see a car technician. The car light's on. You don't know if it's the timing belt, the transmission that's going to cost four grand or a little screw that costs 12 bucks, but you know something's wrong. You've got a signal and then you just schedule an appointment and you go get it taken care of by a professional. But why don't people think doing that for their bodies is completely normal. My pinky hurts. Signals going off. Is this like a major thing? Is it a small thing? Why wouldn't they just go see a professional right away? They have a very, um, I'll just brush it off. I'll stick this out. I'll, you know, it'll heal itself when they don't realize that little pinky having compensation all throughout their body could be why two weeks later their right ankle hurts. So I think if we just adopted the mentality of you have a signal going off, go see a professional, have it healed professionally and be on with your life. It would be so simple. I I kind of laugh because I think if my my clients laugh, I should say, because they have one session with me and that's more information in an hour than they've had for four years on that topic of just how to take care of a simple injury. So that's one thing I think that's a little skewed in our society is just the way we think healing should happen. And not just physically, um, you could have an injury in your brain like depression or a traumatic incident you went through. And that also manifests in your body as a physical pain. And we don't think I need to go see a professional to heal that injury. Something in between these ears is also an injury. And, you know, people always ask me, how are you so happy and full of life with everything that's happened to you? And you just make it look so easy. And it's sometimes frustrating for me because if people only knew how hard it was to get here, they wouldn't say those things to me. You know, um, I've lost both of my parents to health issues and I watched my dad deteriorate over time. And if I knew what I know now, I could have just shown him really simple ways to get out of pain. And I am relentless at finding ways to heal my heart and my mind so that I can take care of other people because my my why is I just don't want anyone to have to experience what I've gone through because it sucks. Um, You know what? Two parents, they're gone. I have one sibling and she had a brain tumor and had to go through brain surgery And after brain surgery, they just give you a packet of paper and say, bye, good luck. And there's no rehabilitation process. She couldn't walk. She couldn't eat. And like her first task was just get food to your mouth. And she just kept hitting her chest with a fork and food on it. And it's one of the most painful things I've ever experienced is watching my only sister not be able to feed herself and the medical system they do the best they can but they don't have ways to heal after it's over so I take I have to take her and show her how to get food to her mouth so that she can live so The whole point of death of the desk is to show people that it's not just about moving your body. It's about if you can't be healthy and move, you can't take care of your family. You can't live and take care of your spouse. If you're in pain, your spouse is in pain. If you're in pain, that's the only thing on your mind. You can't do your job. You can't perform. Then your boss isn't happy. It's this whole thing. And 
we make it sound like it's just about movement when really deep down in our hearts, it's about your life and your fulfillment. And it's not easy. Healing yourself is not easy. And I always preach like life isn't all glitters, rainbows and sunshine, even though I come across that way. It's taken a lot of work to get there. I had a injury in my heart and my mind. So I hired a professional. I saw a therapist twice a week for six months until I felt like I could kind of walk around the the earth on my own. And I kind of got her green light that I was kind of okay and not gonna, you know, fall off the deep end or anything. Um, so that's just kind of what I mean about seeking help. And it it's hard, but really when you reach out and ask for help and you're vulnerable, that's a sign of strength, not holding it in and killing yourself and suppressing and suffering. Your true strength actually comes from the inside out. And that's why we're so passionate about delivering this message is because really anyone can do it at their own pace. And that's why we started Death of the Desk. We only have, we only have one time on this planet. That's it. And as, as long as you're going to be here, you know, on this planet, you might as well enjoy it and do all the things that you want to in life. And if you can't do the things that you want to in life, you're going to be unhappy. There's no time to be unhappy.